Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. I don't know when you're going to be looking at this video, but it's going to be taping for me in the wee hours of the morning. But when y'all get it on Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, partake of it. Okay, these are the results of the polling that I did during, during the week of September 29th to October 5th. You know, when I do my videos, I like to include you all because I like you all's uh, interactions. And I wanted to give you the results from the last week, okay? And they contrast, um, well, they compare and contrast my videos that I do throughout the week. I asked your opinion or I simply just put a question out there to kind of see what you feel and to see if I hit my mark when I did my video of the responses that you all gave me from the polls. Now, these are not my polls. You all went in there and did the darn thing and voted for your particular, um, what do you call it, um, fan or favorite um, or whatever they were going through when I was putting the video out, you went on the demeanor of what you probably saw, what you heard that I put out there within my video, and you made your uh, comments known verbally as well as you took the polls that I put out there. So, with further ado, let's get on into the polling results. All right. First question I asked during the week was, do you think Kenya Moore hired and compensated Mark Daly to play a role like he was her husband in reality, meaning real world time? 50% of you all said yes. Hmm. That made me win. Huh. So it is some like-minded people out there such as myself. But like I said, this is a poll that I gave to you all. So those who voted, thank you. And continue to interact with me and continue taking the polls. And you can see for yourself, numbers don't lie. Um, and for the ones that don't didn't get a chance to, make sure you go to my community feed if it doesn't show up automatically uh, when you're searching for videos or it comes across your feed if you're subscribed to me. You will get polling results uh, from me throughout the week. Maybe not as many as I did this previous week, but... You know, because uh, I know everybody have time. They'll have time to be doing everything. But it kind of makes everything run smoother when you're catching my videos. And then I send you out a poll request to get your interaction as well. So we kind of knit together like a hand and glove to get my drip, okay? Uh, but the next polling question was, well, I'm sorry. It was 50% said yes on that uh polling question that I just got finished uh, reading. Let me read it again. It says, do you think Kenya Moore hired and compensated Mark Daly to play a role like he was her husband in real life? 53% of you all said yes. 36% of you all said no, with 11% saying undecided. The next polling question was, do you think NeNe Leakes is wrong for investing uh, or investigating whether or not Kenya Moore is telling the truth about Mark Daly's allegedly infidelity in their marriage. A whopping 54% said, well, thought out, no. While 43% of you said, hell yes. And a 3% said, a peaceful, I'm so undecided. Okay, the next one was, do you think Kenya Moore would make a great ambassador or spokesperson for the new charity work she's doing on her, uh, on, on collaboration with this nonprofit uh, with regard to infantile families not being able to have children and they want to um, use the IVF treatment system. 65% uh, of you said, uh, go sit yourself down, Kenya Moore. Go sit yourself down. While 35% of you said, uh, said, this is unbelievable undecided. So 35% was undecided while 65% of you all said Kenya needs to sit herself down. All right. Uh, and forget about ambassadoring anybody. It's probably uh, her attitude that she gives off. But like I said, don't always judge a book by its cover. You know, Kenya just uh, does things sometimes out of spite like most people. And she's going to do her all day long because, like I said, she's trying to get that paycheck. They already said drama is what drives the show. So don't always take uh, everything from face cover. She may just be acting out and doing what she's doing on screen, but she at, may actually be a, a okay person when you see her in person. Like I said, I've never met her before. 
Um, so I can't really give you all a good definitive answer whether I approve of her as a total person. You know, I think she's 95% cool, but that other 5%, you know, I just have my uh, reservations about it. But getting back to the um, polling, the next polling was there's talk in the media stating that Kenya Moore and Mark Daly are reconciling. Uh, do you believe it? And uh, 37% of you said, I don't give a fuck. Okay. 27% of you said, hell yes. While 30% said, hell no. And 7% said, I'm just plain undecided. All right. The next question was, if Cynthia Bailey did get married, what season would she wed in? Of course, you know, I think I said, uh, I think I said fall. Uh, but you all said a 37 percentage of you said spring. 26 percent said fall. 23 percent said summer and 14 said winter. The next one was, do you think Veronica Morales is wrong for obtaining legal representation against Beyonce? Uh, the artist to keep her from taking her company's name and using it for, of course, Beyonce's and Jay Z's benefit. 47% of you said that Veronica Morales wasn't wrong. So there was a no. She did right and she should continue pressing on because uh, that is her livelihood. And 20%, 27% were tied at yes and undecided. The next polling question was, do you think Portia Williams should marry Dennis without a signed prenup agreement? A whopping, overwhelming response of 90% said no, while 10% are holding out saying yes. Okay, she should marry him. It's not about the money. It's all about the love. Okay, that's what that poll ended up with. Uh, then we went to, do you think Portia Williams' fiancé, Dennis McKinley, is a gold digger? Okay. 60 cent percent, 60 cent, uh, 66% said yes, 19 were undecided, and 16% said no. Okay. Stacy Dash was another article I put out there uh, on commentary on my video on my platform. I did a video on her and her getting arrested. So the comment or the polling question was, Stacey Dash, the actress, got arrested today on a domestic violence charge since allegedly her husband put her in a chokehold during the altercation. Should she be arrested too? Or should he be arrested too? 84% of you all said yes. 16% said no. Okay, uh, the next one was, do you think we the people would ever impeach President Trump? It was a close race, guys. It was a close race. 55% said yes, while 45% said no. Okay, so you make sure you go out to them polling uh, precincts when it's time to unelect or reelect Trump again. Okay, think about it. Uh, the next question was, do you think because Kenya Moore has a disdain hate for black men now and what she's been uh, said, she's been, uh, uh, for speaking from her perspective, she's been done wrong by, by several men in her life from the black culture. Uh, but, you know, with her attitude that she's taking uh, for the negative about black men, will she manifest this type of flawed thinking to her daughter, Brooklyn? A overwhelming response of people said, uh, yes, it was 58%, while 22 said undecided, and 19% said no. Okay? Uh, the next one was, do you agree with Kenya Moore, allegedly stating she's done dating black men and will only date white men? Okay? Woo, she put, she put some statement on that one. A lot of people got mad on it. 63% uh, said no. While 20% said yes and 17% said undecided. Okay. The uh, next one was, do you think Kevin McCall will be given joint custody, sole custody, or no custody of their child together? That's Eva Marcel's uh, ex-boyfriend. He's, you know, did a video on him. If you uh, need, you know, more reference, go watch that video. 
get your uh, knowledge on and then come back and, you know, you could continue to take the poll, but I'm through with those polls for last week. But the response was kind of overwhelming. They said 50 per, 54% said no custody. Mm -mm, he ain't getting nothing. While 42% of you all said he should have joint custody at least. While 4% said he should have full and sole custody. So there's four percentage of people. What do y'all have against Eva Marcel? Okay. Y'all don't like her parenting skills. <laughs> I don't see no wrong in the latest parenting skills or uh, her choice of me can be very questionable, but she seems to have a well-rounded um, idea of being a good mother. At least that's what she's dis uh, displaying to me. Um, and I have nothing really further to say about that situation. But the final and last question, polling question, was do you think Kim Zosiak Beerman was wrong for putting and letting her five-year-old daughter wear makeup? overwhelming percentage of you all, 79% to be correct, said yes, she was wrong, she had no business putting that makeup on that baby, what is she thinking, my whole attitude towards her was, you know, what is she doing, is she trying to uh, make the girl break out with the makeup, I mean, because your face is still uh, growing and, and getting used to the environment and all the pollution in the air and all this acne and this, that, and the third with skin regimens. Why is she uh, treating that baby's fresh, plush, uh, moisturized skin? You know, baby skin at that. It's, it's always soft and, and, you know, pliable. Why is she messing up that baby's skin with all those harsh chemicals? I don't understand, Kim. Never have, and I probably never will. All right. But 79% uh, of you all said yes. King was, I mean, uh, Kim Zosiak was wrong for doing that. And while 21% of you all said no, she was in her right mind. I guess it's her child. She can do whatever she wants to do with it. But that's all I had for the polling uh, results from the videos that I did. And I wanted you all to interact with me and giving me y'all input, letting the voice of the people reign on, you know, my videos and uh, the interaction that I'm having and that you have your own voice in it. So thank you for speaking out. Continue to come back. Continue taking my polls. Keep continuing to tell people about my channel. Like, like, like my videos, guys. And definitely subscribe to my channel. Okay? And that's all I have for this video. So y'all be blessed. Have a wonderful Sunday. Whenever you're receiving and viewing this video, get out there and do something fun and exciting and put a smile on your face and always try to sing a little happy song to yourself because I know I like to sing you know I don't know if you really think I can sing I ain't trying to sing professionally but when I hear a note or I hear some good feel music it always makes me want to just sing sing a happy song sing a happy song Come on around the world, sing a happy song. Yes, yeah, so y'all be blessed, and I'll see y'all next video. Good morning, good night, or good evening. Bye-bye. Or good afternoon.